Welcome to IU Guy here, and today we're going to go with season and review the full season for Indiana, um, where we go all the way from the start of the season to the uh, sec first round game that we played, and also we go and we uh, uh, look at the leading the leaders, uh, stat leaders on our team today. Uh, so let's jump right in today. Um, we started 6-0 and with a good win against St. John's, and in that 6-0 and game, we had TJD drop 40 against Marshall, a huge win. Honestly, I thought we should have been ranked, but it's alright, they didn't rank us. Um, our first loss came to Syracuse, it's a game we should have really won, that game, honestly, Miller Cop really did good, they're 27 points, I believe. Um... We also started 1-0 in Big Ten play with their good win against Nebraska. Nebraska, once again, is struggling, and Indiana is just a, it was really good there. That's a 7-2 record, 7-1 record, sorry. Then we blew a 21-point, 22-point lead against Wisconsin, and that was just not Indiana basketball. Um, That would have probably, I think, really would have, change our season and we would have won a couple more games um that that just something that they're gonna want back and uh if you're with if you're a wisconsin fan you gotta be ready be ready next year we're gonna be hungry um so then we won three straight in a row and then including one here we beat uh notre dame and the crossroads classic which um was sadly the final game of Crossroads Classic. It won't be won next year. It's very sad. Um, they need to bring it back. Crossroads Classic was absolutely amazing. Um, you know, then we took a tough three-point loss to Penn State. I mean, every year there's always one guy that goes off against Indiana that we cannot stop, and that just happened to us again. Um... And then we got a huge win against Ohio State. We shut down EJ Liddell. TJD had a solid 16 points. Just a great game. Um, I still think we should have been ranked then, but no. Then we went 2-1 and one going into uh, the Purdue game. And that's when Big Shot Rob, who hopefully will come back, and we want you to come back, Big Shot Rob. Come back to Indiana. Um, please, we need you. You know, we're short of point guard. Well, Trey Gallagher's a point guard, but we need you, big shot. Um, he gave us a win against Purdue. The legend, the hard worker. That was such an emotional moment. Um, he went two, we went two and one after a couple games, and then the worst thing of our season happened. Suspensions to X and Parker Stewart and the some other guys, Michael Durr, Christian Lander, um, and other guys. That really kind of threw us off. We went on a five-game skid, um, and it was just not it. And we were looking out of the tournament, really looking real bad. But then we finished the season two and two, all right? So we really need to get, like, two wins in the Big Ten tournament to even make it. And Trace Jackson Davis, he carried us, bro. I mean, just, I, would, I shouldn't say that. He didn't carry us. We all played well. Xavier Johnson dropping like 22 a game. Trace dropping 30 a game. You know, Cop hitting threes. Parker hitting threes. Race playing well. Geronimo playing well. I mean, wow. That's insane. We all played well there. Got a win against Illinois. And uh, Michigan, and then Stinking Bohannon got that nice shot of the backboard. I was there. It was so loud. I was like, there's no way he's going to make it. Banks in. The bank was open. <sighs> That's a tough way to go out. But we made it to the NCAA tournament first time. And in four years, I think, yeah, since 2016, maybe five years. I don't know. Um, but... Um, we beat Wyoming pretty handily, and we just got cheated out of a win, honestly. Um, it really wasn't fair that we had to go uh, to play Mount St. Mary's 
I mean, they're a good team. They destroyed us. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't fair that we had to. Um, like we played, I think five games in about seven or eight days. It's just not fair for us because what like. I would have gladly taken Michigan's spot. I mean, Michigan was 17 and 14. They should have been in first four, but no. You know, so we, we kind of cheated out of that Mount St. Mary's game. I don't know if we would have beat them still, but, you know, it would have been a much better game. Um, now let's get into the team leaders here. Trace Jackson Davis led the team with 18.3 points per game. Such a good player. And, um... Hopefully, uh, he'll stay next year. He hasn't really decided, but he's hinting that he will stay. Um, Trace Jackson Davis also led a team with 8.1 rebounds per game. Just so good uh, on the glass. Um, yeah, I just all around one of the best play players on our team, if not the best. Um, Peace Stu led the team in threes. Um, he just... Started the season had ice in his veins and he continued to hit uh, shots um, all throughout the season. Trey Galloway lead led the team and points off the bench. Um, he's just a great six player. I think that's what um, I'll get into this more on Monday. Um, what he should be, he should be coming right off the bench, first guy off the bench every time. Trey Galloway is just such a good player. Um, now let's get to a follow-up here and talk about all the guys that are notable right now. Trace Jackson Davis, right now it looks like he's staying. Race Thompson, and I, I don't know. I, I, it just looks like right now Race Thompson's going to leave. But this is not confirmed, and this is just my opinion. I have no clue. So he could be staying or leaving, but it just seems like to me that he's leaving. Uh, Rob Finnessy is in a transfer portal. Hopefully he comes back. I we re I really want him. He's a good defender. And when he's confident and healthy, he'll play well for you. Um, You can see my highlight video on him. All those nice layups. Um, P. Stu was in the transfer portal, but he came back. So we're going to have one of the best rappers in the world on our team. Um, and best three point shooter, Miller Cop, he's staying. Um, Michael Durr left, and I just got a notification actually on my phone that, um, a bunch of ACC schools are looking into him, like Pitt and all of them. Um, Christian Lander left, um, no word on that, but I don't think he's coming back. Jordan, I mean, I've heard a rumor from my friend that he possibly going to the NBA draft. I do not believe it. It looks like he's staying. I think he's staying 100%. Um, so that rumor is like 99% false. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's that's the follow up. Let's get to the end. 50 subscribers. We got to get it. Let's go. I got a whole collection that I'll show off if you get 50 subscribers here. Um, great season. If uh, for the Hoosiers, really good. We finished 21 and 14. And next time I'll post Monday. Remember, I'm posting every other. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm posting every Monday this offseason. See ya.